In the aftermath of the gold laser debacle, one can only speculate as to what effect this episode will have on the future. With so much money now at stake in the world's biggest poker tournaments, can players still trust one another? We look for answers to that question in this two-part feature story, A Matter of Trust. Well, I, of course, did not believe or acknowledge ever that he had a deal in this particular event. As a matter of fact, he did have an arrangement with me in a prior World Series event, which I also won that year, and uh, where he had 20% of me, and I paid him over $20,000 for his $200 investment. And uh, if, let's put it this way, if I felt I legitimately owed him that money, I would have paid it, but I didn't. And he never Hi, Joe, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm here to work $10,000. Okay. I'm going to play in a poker tournament, and uh, I'd like to borrow $10,000 in cash. Can I get the cash? Uh, actually, no. Have any of your backers ever asked you to sign a written contract? No. What, why, why is that? And this seems uh, rather odd, certainly to people outside the poker world, given the vast amount of money that's at stake. Well, they, they, uh, they come right there when, when we get the payoff, and I pay them off right then. I've never had to wait to pay anybody anything. Now, I don't really have a job or anything else. I just play poker. Is that, is that okay? No. No? We actually do loans based on your job. I'm, I'm a pretty good player. You know, I, I've never done that. I've never required a writing, but that's not to say that wouldn't be a, a very good idea. And uh, anybody that's going to invest some significant money or get involved in or in tournaments where they can, or first place, or or, or any prize could be pretty big, I think it's it's probably advisable to have a writing, even a short one, just to sort of sum up the deal.